This is just a little roundup of this case study on designing for home emerging electricity technologies. First, on the topic, what did we learn? Electricity demand shifting is a complex equation of time and purpose of iteration. This equation should balance the contextual objectives, such as doing the laundry and being comfortable, with the long-term objectives, for instance, minimizing the financial cost and the environmental impact. In this context, product service systems must negotiate and engage participants in the process, leveraging each technology with its strength. For example, making a coffee is non-negotiable activity, while the fridge can be automated in the background without householders having to intervene nor being aware of it. Appliances, such as the washing machine again, have a degree of negotiability but also require intervention from householders. Finally, appliances can hardly be considered in isolation as changing a routine will impact other household routines. It requires a holistic support of home electricity management. A key element to designing with data is the ability to iterate on the design of product service system in a never-ending design process. Throughout the Thinking Energy project, design iterations took many forms. The role, time and effort dedicated to each state varied depending on the objective of each design iteration. In this project, each design iteration started with the collection of raw data from sensors or the gathering of data outcome from previous iterations. This data complemented the qualitative data collected through interviews and focus group, informal discussions during technical visit and exchange of emails. Then, data exploration served multiple purposes. It was conducted by an extensive generation of charts and discussions among designers. We used it to understand or validate our understanding of the home energy system, to validate and correct the quality of sensor data, and to widely explore the qualities of data and its opportunities to drive further data analysis. Triggered by the outcome of the data exploration, we built multiple forms of data analysis, including aggregation, statistics, simulation of scenarios of prediction to deepen our understanding of what is happening in the households to determine which strategy could lead to a best behavior, to model trends overall householders, and to develop prediction algorithms. This deep understanding of energy and householders' behavior led to design concepts, blending qualitative and quantitative data. This stage is key in the transfer from what is happening to why it is happening. Depending on the iteration, data products ranged from abstract to concrete and from simulated to actual. Finally, in the last stage of the design process, we deployed the data products in households to either evaluate the design or collect research insights, the so-called research through design. While we relied on prototypes, the process was of a minimum viable product. We defined metrics along the data to record the interaction and the contextual situation. Okay, so let's have some final remarks about data-centric activities. First, please avoid common fallacies when working with data such as false causality, McNamara fallacy, which is relying solely on metrics, or also cherry-picking, which is selecting data that fits preconceived claims, and also sampling bias, drawing conclusion from a set of data that isn't representative. Then the sec- my second point is about keeping in mind that there is no unbiased data. You should always leverage data with reasonable anticipation and consideration of these biases. 
Third, while use of quantitative data in design is growing, available tools are still mostly geared towards data scientists and require solid knowledge of data techniques. You, as data-centric designers, should be prepared to creatively adapt and combine the use of these tools to fit your needs. Finally, designing with data often raises ethical concerns about the appropriate use of data and requires an understanding of legal constraints on data collection and use. You should consult with ethics committee, legal departments, and IT support for advice. Let's wrap up this series about designing for home emerging electricity technologies. Beyond the energy context, I hope you've got an idea of what we mean by data as design material. For us, leveraging data in design can take many shapes and purposes throughout an iterative design process.